This video is going to look at how to do addition using Microsoft Excel. And there are two ways to do this. The first is using a formula. And the second is by typing in your equation manually. Our goal in this example is to add the number in the first column with the number in the second column and see what they equal. To get started, you need to double click in an empty cell and type in the equals sign. You're then going to type in sum and double click on the sum formula in the drop down menu. Now you have to select the data that you're going to add. To do this, you're going to select the cell of the first number you'd like to add, click and drag all of the cells that you'd like to add together. Then you are going to go over into your formula. It says equal sum A3 and B3 are the cells that we're adding. Type in close bracket and press enter to do that calculation. So now it tells us the answer is 2,799. I'm gonna ask you to select that cell again. And since we've put that formula in already, we're going to apply that formula to multiple rows by going to the bottom right of that cell until we see the plus sign and click and drag down to the bottom of our data set. What it does is it selects and copies that formula down all the way throughout the entire data set. Now let's look at doing this manually by double clicking in an empty cell and typing in the equal sign to start our equation. We're then going to select the cell that contains the first number we'd like to add and type in the plus sign and select the cell that contains the second number we'd like to add. Then we're going to press enter to solve that equation and you'll notice the answer for the formula and the manual method is the same, which is good. We're going to select that cell, go down to the bottom right hand corner of that cell and when we see the plus sign, drag down to the bottom of our data set to copy that formula throughout and we can double check to make sure that our answers are the same, whether we've done it through the formula or the manual method.